Hey man, I'm going to lay the smack down unless you can't tell me how computer storage is measured. Are you calling me out? Before I make you sorry for that, I'm going to tell you that computer storage is measured in bits, which is one character of information, and is comprised of 8 bits or digital ones and zeros. Come on what you're waiting for. That's it, you have nothing else to say? Prepare for your demise. I'm not scared. But I must say that they can be measured in kilobits, megabits, gigabytes, and terabits depending on the size of the computer. Well aren't you clever? How do I know what the storage requirements are for my computer? You are as dumb as you look. The storage requirements are much lower, between a few hundred kilobit to one megabit for simple word processing application, but much higher for digital imaging software ranging from a few hundred megabits to a few gigabytes. Now come over here and prepare for your beating. You don't know who you are messing with. Direct attached storage devices are secondary hard disks that may be connected as an external unit. But how do I connect it to the computer? You can use USB or Firewire. Hey, while you are stalling and contemplating the pain I am going to inflict upon you. Tell me what are some examples of optical storage devices. Oh, you mean portable storage devices that are read by lasers? Well, there are compact disks, which are irritable storage disks, digital versatile disks or DVDs which store movies and multimedia presentations, and Blu-rays which is designed to store high-definition video and data. Come and get me punk. I bought an SSD today. Do you what those are? Well, yes, I do, you coward. They're storage devices that use solid-state memory to store data. It is small with no moving parts therefore cannot be harmed due to shock. Much like the shock I am about to hit you with. Oh like a secure digital card, or a memory stick, a multimedia card, or XD picture card. Oh you win again. What about computer networks and online storage? Well computer networks are large numbers of computers linked together. There is a WN which is giant like my muscles, and LON which is smaller for schools and business, and your brain. Online storage takes place on the internet and is usually free. Oh that's it. Let's get it on.